All right. Hello there, <laughs> dear sister. So here we're doing just a little gameplay because I have something to show you as soon as we get past Isabella. Yep. God, she's so cute. All right. So last time you saw me, which I don't remember when, but I've done a lot of changes to my island since you last seen it. Socks is here. Or kicks, whatever his name is. But I've told you this before in person, but I want to actually prove it in a video. Sorry, we're going to interrupt your morning exercise routine. So we're going to go here. And we're going to talk island evaluations. And I have a five star rating. <laughs> it really wasn't that hard to achieve it, but it's still very exciting. It was hard to achieve it in the way that I want it. <laughs> so, a perfect score again. So, with that, I figured. Um, since I achieved, since I achieved this rating, I would go ahead and show you my town. There's some things you'll recognize because you've seen it, and other things I've added, or ju it's just new. So, we're just gonna go ahead and start. So, I'm gonna start from the beginning. So, if you're starting from the airport, so when you come in, you will see my lovely, uh, display of waterfalls. Uh, if you haven't, well, you already realize, but this is basically my kind of recreation of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, so we have a wishing well there, we have waterfalls, we've got fountains and everything, white, white flowers everywhere because it's Snow White. Um, I haven't changed this since last time you saw, so apple trees because she bit into an apple. Um, but yeah, so and there's basically waterfalls everywhere, so when you walk in, you can't really see anything other than just uh, this. So I still really like this. this. This is still my favorite thing about my island. And so when you come up here, you'll hit this hedge. And going to the left will lead you to the beach. And going to the right will take you to the rest of the island. So we're going to go ahead up here and start with another completed section of my island. And that is the villagers' houses and place. So here, I kind of uh, stacked all the houses together, so they're all in like little 4x4 four four quadrants, and I've got a place open here for a new person to move in, so I will be on the lookout for a new villager. Come up here, as you can see, the bricks change in design, and we've got, I've tried to put as much decorations as I can, so like trees and bird baths, just... <laughs> just anywhere I can spit, spit, um, just anywhere I can fit space. Um, so, if I could, I would have done it a little differently and maybe spaced it out a little bit more, but it's, it was just kind of hard. Uh, this is still, I was doing something here and I changed it, but I didn't change it back. And then we've got Godzilla in the middle here. I don't know why I did that, I just thought it looked good. But yeah, so these are all the villagers. This is where they all live, every single one of them. Because they didn't want them spaced out on my island. I just wanted them, like, all together. So next over here, as you can see, I kind of, I tried to hide this as much as I can. But it's the only way to get to this little space here. And as you can see, just to prove it, I have achieved a 5-star rating. There is the Lily of the Valley. You can't pick it. You can only dig it up. So I'm going to move it somewhere else. Lily of the Valley. I thought it was called something else in past games. I thought it was called like like a jack ladder or something. So I built a wall, a zen wall around this, um, as you can see with the rock, rock garden. And if you look, it took a really long time to get all these rocks into this one circle. Um, it, there's a lot of mannequins everywhere on my island. <laughs> Um, and you may think, like, oh, Sam, like, all these rocks are randomly placed. Like, it's so good. They're not randomly placed. They're strategically placed. So that way, when I hit each of these rocks, I won't have to dig holes. And each one is, like, a corner that I can just, like, fall back into. So, yeah. 
I'm working on building these stone hedge pieces, but they take a lot of rocks, and I don't have a lot of rocks, so that's a work in progress. Maybe I'll add some leads to this place, but yeah, that's what I got going on here. So we're going to go ahead to another part of town, another one of my favorite parts. So on the second level here, we have a bridge that cuts across, and we hit my garden section, which I'm kind of working on. As you can see by my wheelbarrows and other things. All my black lilies are up there. You can't get to them unless you have a ladder. <laughs> and of course this is like right behind my house. Uh, last time you saw my house, it was like on the lowest level surrounded by waterfalls and I kind of decided I didn't want that so I like redid my little like center of the universe here and changed it up. So yeah. So that is all that's going on here. I'm working on a bridge so that way it basically mirrors the one over here. It's going to be exactly the same kind, but I'm, I really like it. So back behind the garden section, I don't, I haven't really had anything planned yet. Basically it's just a million flowers because I was just, you gotta put flowers somewhere where you're not putting flowers. So all the flowers that I have of all the different kinds are here. Um, I haven't really kept it up to date. There's no way to get up here yet, but the only way to get up is by climbing the ladder. And I have all the rare flowers up here, uh, as much as I could. And I kind of redid this section because I saw it on YouTube and I thought it was really cool, but basically this optical illusion of, of traffic and the lighthouse. I may do some more things, but this is how it's set up for right now figure that out. This is a work in progress. I was planning on doing like a little park here and having a fountain here and some paths and pretty much keeping all the rare flowers up this way. But we'll, I'll figure that out. And in here, as you can see more flowers, I've stuffed the museum over in this corner. And this is still a work in progress. As you can see, there's still like a million flowers and trees that kind of need to be moved and cleared. Again, I'm working on this part here. Um, and then we have this little valley ditch here. This is just so I can get to this side of the beach better. But I didn't want to have to build like an incline, so I just made this little like hop. <laughs> I think it's really cute. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do to this part yet, still working it out. But then we come upon the back side of the campsite, which is mediocre. It's okay, but this is what I've got so far. I haven't really worked too hard on this. Um, I'll work on that later. And then I have an incline here, which we walk down, and we have my little uh, fruit forest. So this fruit forest won't be like this forever. I plan on like cutting it down to size once I um, get more money. I don't like how it's set up right now. Uh, it's basically set up so that if I shake the trees, I can't really see the fruit. Um, as you can see, like, when I water in, you, you can't even see me, and I can't see stuff, and it's just really annoying. So, I plan on changing this up, but this is not a high priority right now. Um, I plan on putting a bridge here at some point, but right now I've just got this walkway. Oh, you'll like this. And this dude is blocking my entrance. Ah, okay. So to get to this little island here, which I made, you just have to jump. I created like a fence so it's kind of hard to see that you can actually get to it because it's meant to be hard to get to. Um, I plan on doing like a little bit more on this. Um, I'll leave it as a surprise for later, but this is basically my recreation of Oak Island and I'm sure you know, but in case you don't know, Oak Island is basically an island that has like a money pit. And that's why there's money trees here. And I don't know how much bells are actually hanging from these trees. So, but I don't plan on shaking them anytime soon just because uh, it's going to ruin the illusion. But that's why there's like barbed wiring and there's like, I'm using like the oak planks. Uh, if you don't know what Oak Island is, you should definitely check it out. It has a very interesting story. But I couldn't get to it from this side because this dude is blocking my path, so I had to enter it from the other side. I'm glad I have two secret entrances. So, walking north. I planted cherry trees because I really do like cherry trees, even though they don't really earn me 
a lot of money in my island. But as you know, um, I can just go to other people's islands and sell them, so I'm more inclined to keep the fruit trees, the native trees. So as we come up here, I plan on doing like another thing here. I don't really know yet. This is kind of left over from what I had before. But I figured I didn't have any pawns, and I was missing some pawn creatures, so I made this. A hidden Mickey. <laughs> and I decorated it with red and white roses, kind of Alice in Wonderland themed from painting the roses red. So I really like that. And then we've got our two shops here, um, Nook's Cranny and the Abel Sisters. I moved a Nook shop a while ago because it was originally like right here and then I decided that I need to push it back so I did some like landscaping bits. Um, so we've got an incline here. I think you've seen this a little bit here. I put a trash can because I was needing a trash can a lot more as I was just throwing stuff away. And then there's a bridge here that comes down as you can see. And I have a bridge that goes to my house as you saw earlier. Um, oh, and here's my meme. Um, I haven't... I need to like fly in a plane to see if I can actually still see this, but it says when the plane flies over the island, and it's a meme that like people see when they come visit. But you know, I haven't had my island open in such a long time because I've been like working on it, and I'm like, no, you can't see it. You can't see it until I have it all done. Uh, but since I'm I'm having parts of it like done, I'm probably gonna start playing with my island more open so other people can visit. If people are still playing, I, I don't know. I haven't done anything with this area right now, it's just a bunch of trees, we'll figure that out later. And then down to the south here, it's kind of like a game area, it's a work in progress. Uh, but this is kind of how the setup's going, I think I need like some more things, like arcades and other things. Um, but yeah, so this is just kind of a setup of what I was going for. And then on the beach I don't really have too much, some more things spilled over from the game center down south. I've got a lone, <laughs> a lone little like uh, chair here. And of course, my famous South Pole, this is like one of the first items I got in the game. And I went, yep, you're going here. And I haven't moved it since. Uh, I've got a lifeguard station that I put up. Um, I plan on getting more of these chairs to like put up. Oops. And I'll save you the details, but I have not done anything along this section of, of the beach. On the east side, I haven't done anything, but I've done like a little bit on the west side. So we're going to run over there and take a look. So I think I'm going to make bamboo forest here. I'm not sure. Still figuring it out. But down to the south, I've got my own little private beach section. Um, I've been meaning to like change it up or do something because it's kind of cluttered. But yeah, and we've got barbecues here. I think you've seen this part before, but I haven't really changed or done anything to it, so we'll leave it. And then, if we go further north, I did have stuff here. This is actually where the lighthouse used to be, and then I changed it up. Um, I'll do something more with that, I just don't know what. Oh yeah, I had some flamingos. I'll probably move them somewhere else. But then I've got some space stuff over here, like my little space corner. I have no idea what I'm doing with any of this, so... Somehow I just had two telescopes and I went, yeah, I can see both sides. I'm going to pretend that's your island over there. Yep, that's going to be your island so I can spy on you. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the island tour. Sorry there's not like a lot more going on, but I'm amazed with how much people put into their town because this took me a lot of, this took me like a long time to do. Who's a dragonfly? I don't think I have. No, I had you. Uh. Oh my goodness. Mm, yes. Oh no, don't, don't run away. Actually, I think I do have that one. It's like a black banded dragonfly. No, I should have had that. Why did I put bushes here? 
My island is set up in not a friendly way to catch up bugs. Oh. Oh my goodness. I think it's stuck there. Got it. Did I have this one? No, I have this one. I've already caught this one. Of course my net would break, because... <laughs> okay, so, um, now that we're done with the kind of the tour, I'm gonna show you my house real quick. Just to show you how it's going. Everything's still a work in progress, obviously. Nothing is ever completely done. So here we have the main room. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but I definitely was very keen on hanging, uh, hanging my achievements here. So all the, all the house plaques and of course stuff from like the museum day. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going for here. But anyway, we're gonna start to the left and work our way around. So I don't think I changed this since the last time you saw. Yeah, I haven't changed it. I changed it a little bit. But this is basically like all the fishing stuff from like that fishing day that we had back in, mm, what was it, like April? April or early May, something like that. So that's nothing new. That's not exciting at all. Everyone has that stuff. Um, we go back here. We go back to what I dubbed my bedroom, which you mentioned that you were surprised of how pink it was. Yeah, so this is my room. I haven't changed anything much, except I did include the starry wallpaper, which is actually really cool at night. You won't be able to see it during the day. Um, but all these stars glow at night, which is like a really, really cool effect. Um, I'm only, I've only had it on the wall just to make you jealous. So, yeah. So without moving on. <laughs> And then as we move to the right side of my house, we enter this room. Which is the kitchen! I got some more kitchen things, and it's a lot more cluttered, and I can't get to that chair. Anyway, still a work in progress, but this is how this is. Alright. Um, I'm not happy with any of these, like, rooms. The rooms that I really like are the attic and the basement, which I will show you now. So we'll start with the attic. The rooms are just too small. So the attic here, we have, a, like, a kind of garden area. Yay! Lots of hanging plants and things. This never gets old. <laughs> so... Um, I did have some rugs down because I have like an orange rug and an apple rug. Um, I picked them up, I can't remember why. But yeah, this is, this is my garden area. So, with, with that, I, <laughs> uh, it's just, it's just so cool. Alright, now let's go downstairs. And here we kind of have like, uh, <laughs> like a basement like dance area so I tried to mimic the Iberian rooster um, it's one of my favorite places to go to dance and they have dancing like in the basement and it's a really cool place and since the quarantine I have really missed it so in my desperation to grasp some of my life I recreated it so the Iberian rooster has like a DJ place um, it the DJ place is actually kind of, like, up on, like, a little area. But there's, like, a ton of couches, like, down in the basement. Uh, which is why I tried to divide this. There's no vending machines in the Ivory Industry, but this is just kind of helps, like, complete it. Because it's, like, a bar place. I should probably put the bar thing, the, the bar stand, like, down here. That'd be, like, really cool. Um, but yeah, I threw up all the albums on the wall and some, like, jazz music is playing. So, Yeah. I need to put more, like, art picture things, like, on the wall. I just haven't, I haven't come across with any of the pieces yet. One of the hardest things about this game is just acquiring the pieces of furniture. And I haven't, like, looked up everything I need. I just know that there's something out there. So, yeah. 
So with that, we've completed everything. So I'm happy with my island so far. Haven't seen what you've done with yours, so you should either I should watch the video that you made or I should just come to your town. Yay. I will see you next time. Bye.